So this is our original source of the core 19 data set, which is what you're using. Uh, you can see that it contains structured data in the form of a CSV file and the unstructured data in the form of JSON files, which are which contains the text pertaining to the abstract, the title, uh, and the body text. So in order for this check for this check-in, we specifically loaded part of the CSV file into Elasticsearch. So the first step of was that was uh, taking the CSV file and loading it into the S3 bucket. So this is our S3 bucket that we created for our project. And here's the CSV file that exists in it. Um, we created it with the following properties. And we use these properties to then link it to AWS Lambda, which is what we used um, to load our data into Elasticsearch. So there's a few things that we had to configure for this uh, Lambda function. We first created a role and allowed this role to have access to the S3 bucket. So we, for that, we provided uh, the ARN and so. And also we had to make sure that within our Lambda function, we had access to all the Python libraries that we we're going to be using. So Pandas and Elasticsearch specifically, because these are not part of the native Python module within uh, AWS Lambda. Finally, getting into the code of our Lambda function. So the first distinct part is connecting to S3, which is done right here. The next is configuring what our index or uh, our basic data source in Elasticsearch, what is it going to look like, which is right here. We define all the fields and the relevant data types of each field. And then finally, right here, we created the index using the Elasticsearch API that is within that Python. And lastly, we bulk loaded all of our data through iterating through a pandas data frame, which she created from the CSV file. And then using this function right here, we bulk loaded it. So last, uh, let's go over into our Elasticsearch deployment. So this is a data view that we created using Kibana on our uh, index that we created. You can see that all of the fields that are present here would match with all of the fields that we defined in our Lambda functions, such as core UID is present in this, um in this right here in this data view right here so is uh title and so on so all of our data fields are loaded and in the data view you can get information on which of these are aggregatable and which of these are searchable which is useful for our future analysis that we do within kibana uh lastly let's run a few queries on our data set to see that it's working properly so let's first run a simple search query without any uh, with the other any fields configured. And you see that it works properly. We're getting all of these documents as responses. Uh, next, we can run a more specific query. So let's say we wanna search for all the documents or all the academic papers that have the word ethics in its title. So we run this query. All of this is running on the cloud API console that is provided within Elasticsearch, by the way. So we run this query and we see all of these documents that have the word ethics in its title and we can run another query let's say we want to search all of the papers that have been published by this specific author robert baker so we can configure our query right here and and so apparently this author only has one paper which is what we get as a response so that covers everything that we have done so far now let's go over things that we plan on doing before our first next deliverable. So the first thing that we want to explore is that uh, while we were in our ATL process, we lost a small amount. So we loaded only 50,000 rows within the CSV file, but it turns out we lost about six rows or six, uh, yeah, six rows, which we want to explore further and understand why that happened and make, make sure that we don't have it for a final project deliverable. Essentially, also, we want to refactor a lot of this code, make sure that we uh, hide a lot of the API key information and uh, all the permission information in a config file. I'm going to refactor a lot of this code to make sure that it's structured more optimally. And we also haven't loaded a lot of the columns, uh, which we want to make sure that are that we complete this part in our final deliverable. Uh, on this topic of future steps, we also want to load want to load all of these JSON objects into Elasticsearch, which is going to be our immediate next step. Uh, following that, we wanna we are going to be using AWS SageMaker for our data analysis pipeline. And we will also be using Kibana for part of our visualization, which would be our analysis pipeline. Uh, 